Today we're planting courgettes and as you can see courgette seeds are pretty beefy things and um, they come rounded at the top and flat at the bottom a bit like a, a, almost like a scallop but obviously it's a plant and um, the flat bit you can't see it with your naked eye and it has a little hole in the bottom that hole is called the micropile and that is where two things happen first of all it's where water gets into the seed to swell it when it's germinating and the second thing is that's where the root comes out as well so um, this is quite an important thing you always plant courgette seeds flat bit down now we need some general purpose or seed compost and as with all sowing of seeds, you need to have a really good um, firm compost in your pot. Now I've got these 8 centimetre pots here and I'm just quite literally using the other pots to firm this down. I'm going to need to put some more in there because you want it quite near the lip and once it's firmed down we're going to plant quite simply two seeds per pot. Flat end down, in it goes, and that's all you do. So two seeds per pot, flat end down, pushed in, then a gentle sprinkling of compost on the top, a little pat down. Having watered, then that's perfectly fine. Now, I have some that I sowed earlier, and here they are. And um, there's a couple of things I'd like to say about courgette seeds. First of all, they need light, and it's not been particularly light for these, so these are just about beginning to colour up. Now, you might be wondering why we plant two seeds um, and not just the one per pot. Well, here's an answer. If you can see that one, this particular seed um, has rotted because the seed casing hasn't come off. So this seedling, we're going to reject that one. So we can pull that one out and that's going to leave us that one to grow um, onto maturity. Similarly with this one, the seed casing hasn't come off properly so that one's rotted, so that one also what a lovely root it's got, it might have been a nice plant but the first leaves were a bit rotted so we rejected that one leaving us one per pot. Now some of them like this one are really cool, they're, they're both doing very well so what I'm going to do, I'd like to show you now, is how to pot on because I don't want to reject both of those plants I want to keep them both so we're going to pot on um, and what you need for that is a very complicated tool a pencil and there are some rules about potting on and this applies to all seeds it doesn't apply to just courgettes it applies to anything that you want to sort of pot onto a larger pot um, so again we've got some pressed down compost and then in our pressed down compost we're going to make a hole right in the centre of the pot quite a big hole with our pencil you could use a dipper and I bet somewhere you can buy so the golden rule is special. you never um, touch the stem now courgette seeds to do this with seedlings are quite tough so you probably get away with it but on all of your um, potting on all of your transplanting of seedlings you only ever touch the leaf if you touch the stem the whole plant dies holding the leaf now you're not going to pull the plant out by the leaf what you're going to do is you're going to use your pencil and you are going to lever the plant out so I've got my my plants here I'm going to take this one because it's on top of that one I'm going to take this one out here so what I do is I hold the leaf and push the pencil into the compost next to the plant and then I'm pulling with the, the pencil not the leaf and out comes the whole seedling. Now this has got some compost on there and you can see if you look very carefully um, the roots this looks like a really healthy plant it just needs to go outside a bit to get some colouring up and in the hole I've made earlier I'm going to direct the root down the hole. Now this bit here looks a bit wider than my hole so I'm going to make my hole a bit bigger 
um, put my finger in is probably the best way of doing it so that my plant can then be guided with the pencil down the hole and once you've got it up to where it should be sort of sitting in the pot very carefully bring the compost around it now the next thing is to get your fingers either side and give it a gentle firming in turn the pot round fingers either side give it a gentle firming in and there we have two when there was one now these are going to go out <coughs> probably the very end of April the plants will be up here so there'll be good solid growth on there the end of April what I like to do is to make sure that the place where they're going is well manured with old uh, well rotted manure and compost if you can and make a little mound of the of the oil I would say put um, a spadeful of manure or compost to every square meter of soil so that you've got a good rich soil make a little mound and then use a bulb planter if you can or a trowel if you can't and make a hole on the top of the mound and then the plant will very easily come out pop straight into the hole give it a good watering and away you go now I like to feed them as soon as I get flowers on there a bit like tomatoes and you can use tomato feed if you like and you simply put the tomato feed around the outside of the plant and it will be growing fantastically well now don't allow too many fruits per plant you need to cut them when they're about that long and that's perfect now the other thing you have to think about with courgettes is the same thing you get with tomatoes which is blossom end rot and that means where the flower is still attached to the fruit the flower rots away obviously and it rots away the end of the fruit so you get this mushy bit on the end of the fruit that is called blossom end rot the way that you stop that from happening is you pull away the flower and the fruit is able to grow without being impeded by the rotting flower and uh, then you get perfect courgettes I like to keep three or four courgettes on a plant at any one time the more that you harvest the more flowers you're going to come back and don't forget those flowers are edible so get yourself some nice minced meat stuff the flowers bake them and they'll be really lovely um, so courgettes brilliant plants really easy to grow and fantastic in the dinner plate